A trip back in time for one veteran. He recently returned to Germany, where as an American airman, he was held at a Nazi concentration camp. Chap Bowen of Anaheim with a history of Buchenwald. When you think of prisoners at a Nazi concentration camp, American airmen are not the first to come to mind. It was a, a shock when we went there, of course. We thought we were going to a POW camp when we put us on the train. Chad Bowen was shot down over German-occupied France. A documentary tells how he and 168 well, Allied you know, airmen ended up at a concentration camp. My plane crashed right over against that building over there. The documentary is called The Lost Airmen of Buchenwald, and it tells their story. One time, a, a Polish, one of the Polish prisoners had been there quite a while, he brought me this spoon, my soup spoon, and I've always treasured it because uh, I was uh, privileged to have a spoon where a lot of other people didn't. <laughs> it served me well, fed me. In April, Bowen went back for a reunion of the liberation of Buchenwald. It was his fourth time back. He'd made his peace with this place while held here. They put me in front of a firing squad, okay? And a peace came over me that I can't even explain to this day. I was totally calm. They could shot me, it would have made a bit of difference to me. I said, I know where I'm going. I know where you guys are going. <laughs> it's in my mind. <laughs> Is it hard to go back and see that? The chimney, the crematorium? 56,000 Jews and others died at Buchenwald. They told us when we got there, a lot of prisoners say, the only way you're ever gonna leave this place is up the smoke out of the pipe. That's what was a common term. How frightening was that for you? Uh, I just never thought he'd get out of there anyways. Bowen traced the steps. You know, little big back, back to back. Where he and the airmen lived and slept for two to three months, portrayed in this documentary. We had a, a blanket for three men. It was getting kind of cold at night. We had no shelter, no shade. It was just like about living like cattle. This time, he took his grandchildren. His story, now part of their history. As you go back to Buchenwald, what memory stands out for you? I never got over the fact that uh, man's inhumanity to man, how the, the, not, the SS guys could, people there, they're already in prison, they're skin and bones, they fall down, can't get up, they knock your brains out and have their other prisoners carry them and stack them by the crematorium, you know? That happened daily, all the time, just stuff like that going on. I've heard it said, you have no hatred towards the no. Germans. I think hate is a, a serious problem to the world, and I, I, I dislike what they do, I don't agree with it and all this stuff, but I don't hate people. The documentary was also screened in a nearby German village by Los Angeles filmmaker Mike Dorsey. And my grandfather was one of the airmen, and uh, he's always surprised by how many people have seen it, and I call him up and tell him that, you know, in Weimar we had 100 people in a full, you know, theater show up, he can't believe it. On this Memorial Day, what do you want Americans to think about? Just participate, I guess, in your government, don't let the government take everything away from you like they did in the Nazis and everything else. The people had no choices in many cases. You know. That video, The Lost Airmen of Buchenwald, has been in eight film festivals. Now there's a push now for wider distribution, so you should see it out there.